Why is Filibuster so bad? That's a question I'm sure many players have wondered. As the true final boss of Cats of the Cosmos, he is one of the most iconic bosses in the Battle Cats. Filibuster's enemy design revolves around him having a ridiculously long attack animation that can wipe out your base instantly if you let him finish his attack. The key to beating him is to constantly interrupt his attack animation, utilizing his whopping 200 knockbacks. Konos clearly put a lot of effort into the enemy, but how come the unit that you end up getting is considered one of the worst in the entire game? Well, first of all, Filibuster is very impractical. This is probably due to the design of the character itself. While having an extremely long attack animation, acting like a time bomb, may work well on an enemy. This does not translate well into a cat unit. How powerful would the attack have to be to pay off the long windup? With the current endgame meta revolving around fast-paced gameplay, Filibuster does not work well in most situations. Some of the best stages he would work well on are a lot of the crazed, Manic and Lil Awaken stages, particularly the Mohawks and the Erasers. You get tons of usage in those stages. With the slow-paced, backliner-heavy boss fights of the early and mid-game, Filibuster would excel at helping you defeat those traitless bosses. But by the time the average player clears Cats of the Cosmos, they would probably have done most of these already. Unit accuracy is also something that wasn't translated well onto the unit. For the enemy filibuster, it essentially could not miss. The Omni Strike is so large that it did not matter where it was in the field. Well, other than that one thing where you can lock the boss onto the base and you would still survive. But anyways, although the unit filibuster did get an Omni Strike, it only pierced backwards with no forward piercing range. If your cats were to push even slightly, filibuster would miss his attack and have to start all over again. I mean, come on, Ponos. Why does it pierce backwards? Did you really expect us to use it against zombies or something? Not with one knockback, which brings me to my next point, survivability. Filibuster's survivability is terrible. You let him have that same long attack animation from the enemy, but you just couldn't copy those knockback stats too? It's like Ponos cherry picked the worst stats and slapped them on for seemingly no reason. Filibuster also doesn't have good uptime. A 4 second freeze after every 14 seconds? With the costly setup of having Filibuster in your lineup, that is just not worth it. A good crowd control unit should have good uptime, accuracy, and survivability, but Filibuster fails at all of those. So if you were Ponos, what would you have done to improve Filibuster? Well, here's what I did. But before we get into that, I just have to show you this awesome ED chain I pulled off. So I currently have the improved filibuster in my lineup. Um, take a look, can you guess what changes I made? The basic idea is to try and use cat jobs and filibuster to let ED land an extra two hits on the boss before we start the chain, because we don't want to push the boss too far to the base. Then it's really hard to time the manic lions and the peons are going to start coming and that relic face and everything but as you can see that right here filibuster freezes and cat drops is going to get in a hit along with ed at the same time there we go he's weakened and now they get warped so we need to clear these peons use sniper and manic lion to clear these and that freeze right there is perfect perfectly timed and now we want to use thunderbolt right as it comes off cooldown right now yep i was a bit late on that but it's fine and the next one, Sniper, will KP the boss. Yep, there we go. And use Bullet Train on this Beast Devil. And make sure that those Croconators don't get no block EV, so we use Manic Lion. And that's it. Now before we make any changes here, we have to keep in mind that the game still needs to be balanced and we obviously can't just give him OP stats and abilities. The unit shouldn't stray away from the original design. 
For example, if we were to shorten his attack animation, it would take away what makes him unique. The whole design of taking a long time to unleash a powerful attack. Of course, the unit should also be balanced, but adding on to that, it should not completely replace another unit's job or niche. Cactus and Belly Dancer have been primary Akumi shields for a long time. Belly Dancer is a dodge meat shield, so you can't really say that one is better than the other. But then Cone Cat came, and their stats are straight up better than Cactus. If Cactus hadn't had Surge immunity, or if Cone had it too, Cactus might have completely fallen off. What do we use Cactus for if we had Cone Cat? Earth is another example of this. Earth has nearly identical stats compared to Ururan, and is better in almost every regard. After getting their true form, players would have little reason to use Ururan unless they needed the knockback or they wanted to use both Ururan and Urz together. With that out of the way, how do we actually improve a unit? The most common way is to improve the unit's existing purpose, like upping the stats to a stat-based unit or giving more ability uptime to a crowd control unit. Increasing survivability or decreasing cooldown are also valid ways of doing this. Another way is to give the unit a broader niche, like getting a new trait target or a new ability. Usually this comes in the form of talents, like Sanzo's Target Angel or Shingen's Ultra Talents that give him three new targets. True forms can also do this, like Ural and Gridiron's Aku targeting. Something else you may also see are units getting different usages in different forms, like Bearcat or the Dark Hero set. There are also special cases of making massive overhauls to a unit to try and revive them to be usable again. The purchasable Special Cat talents are the most common example of this as their low base stats don't work well late game. They gain a whopping 80% stat boost from talents along with many other abilities. Lil King Dragon is another example of a previously okay unit now being extremely good after talents. But how good do we want to make Filibuster? The recent UL true forms are all really good units with a ton of usages in the behemoth meta. Euro's true form from the new Infernal Tower Floor 50 gave him a game breaking power spike. But obviously we don't want to make Filibuster that good. We do want to make him similar to the other special legends, as these units are core to the game and everybody will be using them. So let's see what we can do. First of all, to fix his survivability issues, I increase his knockback count from 1 to 15 knockbacks. This will make full use of his health as he will be able to constantly reposition. That's exactly how the enemy works, so I thought it would be cool to implement it onto the unit as well. Units like Shishalan and Matama also utilize this. However, this creates a weakness for him as his endurance will be extremely low and will be prone to getting knocked back by enemies with Pierce. To help with this, I gave him wave immunity, mostly to counter the many traitless wave enemies such as Dober, Cory, Mr. Murr, and Bor Jr. This is really important for a unit like Filibuster as giving him more enemies to work with increases his value and gives players an actual reason to use him. Increasing a unit's value is an amazing way to improve a unit while also keeping the game balanced. He also works against Wicked Face and Death Quarries for Akus and the Floor 30s of Heavenly and Infernal Tower. Yeah, they're getting power crept a lot, but by the time you get meta filibuster, you likely have cleared Infernal 30. Maybe. Actually, doesn't he work against a little Bumbun too? Oh dear, I think it made him too strong. Oh, he didn't freeze the Bumbun. He missed. He's not OP. He's not OP. I also gave him two extra seconds of freeze, since I felt like four seconds was too low after such a long attack animation. It was around 27% uptime, and I buffed it to around 40%, which is much more reasonable. I'm just worried that if the freeze is too long, it would be overpowered, since you can just rush everything down during the freeze. The long freeze time works especially well with units like Fishman or Balrog. Next, to improve his accuracy, I gave him 100 extra forward piercing range. This really helps him to actually land his hit and maybe even hit some other enemies hiding behind the main target too. The reason why I gave Filibuster floating target is that I really wanted to make him work on the new sage enemy, Socrates. To be honest, I don't like the idea of giving him this many trade targets. If I were Ponos, I would probably plan the Sage enemy or Filibuster ahead of time so that their traits overlap. But honestly, he works surprisingly well on this stage. I'm using Yohane's Goldbrick strategy along with Fishman 
since he can actually get hits in on the boss while the freeze is active. I know, Cyber and Sniper are carrying the stage, but at least he sorta works, but that's good enough for a special legend, right? Lastly, I gave him Aku targeting and 100% shield pierce. Currently, we are lacking a long range non uber shield piercer, and I feel like it wouldn't be overpowered if we could break shields every 14 seconds. He may not be completely viable, but at least he's reliable. He actually works really well on Aku since a lot of the Akus are ranged like Condemned Pang and Fallen Bear, and that piercing Omni Strike can break those shields very easily. So, with all the explanations out of the way, here is the actual unit review you've all been waiting for. Enter Improved Meta Filibuster, a fan-made concept of filibuster's true form. If you look up filibuster in the dictionary, you get this, but you also get this. The improved version makes various changes to Meta Filibuster in hopes of reviving the unit. First of all, his knockback count has been increased from 1 to a total of 15. His Omni Strike, previously negative 500 to 575 range, has been changed to negative 500 to 675 range, giving him an extra 100 range of Pierce. His freeze ability has also been buffed from 4 seconds to 6 seconds, which looks a lot better now sitting at 40% uptime. Meta Filibuster gains two new trait targets, Floating and Aku, with added abilities including Wave Immune, Sage Slayer, and 100% Shield Pierce. Here are the full stats of improved Meta Filibuster. There is a reason why Filibuster is considered bottom tier. He has many core flaws to his kit that make him quite difficult to use. The most notorious being his extremely long attack animation, the longest in the game, that make him prone to missing his attacks. His survivability sucks. With only one knockback, he would have no chance to reposition on the battlefield. His range is simply not enough to completely keep him safe. Filibuster also has only 4 seconds of freeze. While this may seem okay at first, when you consider how hard it is for him to land a hit, it doesn't seem worth it in the end. The cost of using him is too great. Push or get pushed too fast and Filibuster will miss or die. Can't use him in wave or LD stages. Wait 12 seconds for him to attack once and only get 4 seconds of freeze. Inconsistency makes the 27% uptime extremely hard to maintain. To fix his survivability, giving him loss of knockbacks is the ideal way to improve Filibuster as the enemy unit does this as well. 15 knockbacks brings him almost on par with units like Matama and Shishalan in terms of survivability, although his HP isn't high enough. While we can't do much about his long attack animation, we can give him some Omni Strike Pierce to help him land hits more accurately. One hundred extra range of Pierce isn't a big change, but it makes him far better than before. Now, when enemies get knocked slightly out of reach, Filibuster will still be able to hit them. To try and incentivize players into actually using him. Meta Filibuster gains 2 extra seconds of freeze time, giving him a rather overpowered 6 second freeze. This brings his uptime to 40% and greatly helps him plan future attacks as well. 6 seconds of freeze is plenty of time to execute some awesome rusher chains using units like Fishman, Bahamut, Eevee, and Dark Canyon. With those changes, it already makes Meta Filibuster a solid unit. But that is not enough for a special legend. We want to push him even more for future content. Filibuster gains Sage Slayer and Target Floating to counter the new enemy Socrates, a dangerous pusher that resists most crowd control units. The enemy seems unfair and downright impossible to beat using no gacha units. 
Currently, we have few options to capture the stage, resorting to options like Cyberpunk, Sniper, and Boosted Octopus. Hopefully, Meta Filibuster will provide players with another tool to help them beat the stage. After testing him out in this stage, I find that although it's hard for him to land a hit, once he does land a hit, the impact is quite significant. In the end, he does help a lot in this stage, both in clearing the Dark Doges and freezing Socrates. Meta Filibuster gets his niche expanded even further, as a super backliner Aku crowd control and a shield piercer. His surge immunity provides him safety from death surges, and his wave immunity allows him to counter enemies like Wicked Face and Death Core. His main weakness should be Aki. With Aki on the field, it is almost impossible for him to land an attack, as Aki's constant attacks would keep interrupting him. Other than Aki, Meta Filibuster's high range allows him to work on most other black weapons. This includes the Omens, although you'll have to clear Johnny Leon first since he'll easily snipe Filibuster. Overall, I think this is a great improvement to Meta Filibuster. It fixes many of his major flaws like survivability and consistency, while staying true to Ponus' original design. His niche has been expanded for the current endgame meta, and it lets players who may have previously forgotten about him get a chance to use him again. His freeze works great on the majority of enemies he targets. His slage... slage... bruh. His Sage Slayer grants him value as an anti-Sage crowd control unit. He is an extremely good shield piercer against Aku enemies. Does that mean Filibuster is actually good now? What are your thoughts on improved meta Filibuster? Do you think it would be a good true form if it was actually in the game? This video took two weeks to research, record, and edit, so if you enjoyed the video, you don't have to do anything because you already watched it to the end, and I thank you for that. But you can subscribe if you like the video, because I'm going to be uploading more videos like this in the future. See you in the next video, I guess.